Australia's Trade, Tourism and Investment Minister, Dan Tien, has launched an update to our India economic strategy. It builds on the strong commitments made by Prime Ministers Modi and Morrison during their recent Leaders' Summit. As Prime Minister Morrison said, the pace and scale of our cooperation with India has been remarkable under our comprehensive strategic partnership. With this update, Australia intends to further strengthen our shared ambitions, particularly our economic cooperation. The 2018 Economic Strategy, authored by my predecessor Peter Varghese, argued that no country would offer more growth opportunities for Australian businesses than India. This remains true and is the basis of this update. It outlines a range of practical new measures the Australian Government will lead to take our economic, trade and investment ties to a new level. In total, the Australian Government is committing $280 million, or 1,500 crore rupees, to new programs and initiatives to boost ties across sectors including business, education, culture, science and innovation, cyberspace and technology, critical minerals and renewable energy. A Centre for Australia-India Relations is to be established in Australia as a hub for our growing economic cooperation, education and cultural programs, policy dialogues and to engage our growing Indian diaspora. A new Consulate General in Bengaluru will help us to deliver on our cyberspace critical technology and innovation initiatives along with a new Joint Centre of Excellence on Critical and Emerging Technology Policy. There's much, much more, all of which you can read about in the update which can be found on the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trades website. Australia and India are Indo-Pacific partners with a shared vision for a resilient, inclusive and open region. As Minister Tian says, our two countries are coming together like never before. I encourage you to read this update and look out for the range of new programs and initiatives Australia and India will deliver together in coming years.